So welcome everyone to develop with Ankan and in today's video we will see what is a lambda function. A lambda function is basically a small anonymous function. So let us see first what is the syntax of a normal function. So as you, many of you will know what is the syntax of the normal function. First we write a def keyword followed by the function name then the argument of that function and then the expression of that function. Okay. So this is a syntax of the normal function. But lambda function syntax is somewhat different. First we write the lambda argument, sorry, the lambda keyword, then followed by its argument, lambda means lambda functions arguments, and then the expression. So let's write a normal function for squaring two numbers. Okay. So I will write square. Okay, this will take an argument n and will return the square of this number n okay so this is how a normal function looks like right so if i want to print the square of n uh, say i want to see the square of 4 so this will give me the re my desired results So 16, 16 is the result, okay? So now let us define a lambda function. So lambda function is defined like this. Say we have square and this will be followed by lambda. I mean lambda keyword is as specifying Python that it is the lambda function. Now it will take an argument, say we have the same name of the argument n and here will be the expression n to the power 2. Okay. Now if we print square of say 5, then we will get our desired output that is 25. So here you can see we are getting 25. So one more important thing about lambda functions is that a normal function can have a long list of expressions, right? So we can have a long list of expressions, say, if we are declaring this function as a equals to n to the power 2 and we are returning a, then this can happen in a normal function. But in lambda functions, only a single expression can be written. Say so this one is, is our single expression. So this one can be written like this. And if we are, uh, want to write a multi-line expression, that will not be uh, valid for a lambda function. So you have to keep in mind that lambda function can only uh, support single expression. But there can be multiple arguments. Okay. There can be multiple arguments in lambda function. Say we just change this. Uh, say we want to add a new argument. So we will hit a comma. Then followed by that argument name. Say C. And we want to uh, uh, square n to the power C. Okay. So let's see this. Square. It should be power function. Right. This is not squaring up. So let's check change the name to power power five comma uh, five to the power three. Let's see what is the output right now. Okay, so one twenty five is the correct answer. So this is how lambda functions work. Now the last thing, why should we use lambda functions? So lambda function should be used when an anonymous function is required for a short period of time. Say in your program, you have uh, to write a function that will be just for few lines, uh, that will be required just for few lines of code in your uh, Python program. So then we should use the lambda functions. Okay. So uh, and the lambda function should be used for single expression, uh, expression as uh, means the lambda function should be used for single expression uh, functions okay so that was about the today's video uh, hope to see you in my next video if you like this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for this kind of contents more thank you mm -hmm.